In this week's Torah portion, we read about the death of Miriam. And when Miriam died, that well that gave the Jewish people water throughout their 40 years of wandering in the desert, that well disappeared. The water supply was cut off. We are told that the Jewish people had that well in the merit of Miriam. The question is asked, why is it that when Miriam dies, her well also had to disappear? Why couldn't the well continue to give the Jewish people water in the desert, perhaps in the merit of Miriam, in memory of Miriam? Why is it that God decided to take away that well when Miriam died? And the answer can be found in the verse that discusses the death of Miriam. The verse simply says, there she died, there she was buried. There's no further details, no funeral, no mourning, no eulogies. When Aaron dies, we see the Jewish people mourned and they cried. When Moses dies, we see the Jewish people mourned and they cried. But with Miriam, nothing. The verse, one verse, she died and she was buried. Say our sages, God realized that Miriam wasn't appreciated died, buried, nothing else, God said, you know what, they don't realize that it was in Miriam's merit that they had the well and they had the cold, fresh water throughout the years of the desert. God said, I'm going to give them a wake-up call for them to realize what they're missing, what has been taken from them, how great Miriam was, and what her merits provided for the people. The lesson is very clear. We have so many things in life. So many people that, unfortunately, we often take for granted. We don't appreciate them while we have them. The lesson is very clear. We have to be very careful not to take anything in life for granted because we don't want to have to get a wake-up call from God for us to realize and appreciate all the blessings in our life. Remember them and appreciate them at every moment.